Welcome to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you today how to use the uh, spline projection and rounding to um, to do a lot of different things, but uh, to some some things that can help your help your animations uh, to kind of take them to the next level to add some features to M to to some of your models. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you. Well, I'm just going to put a plane inside my scene here, inside my viewport. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just kind of add some features to it. I'm using the live selection tool with soft selection selected to just kind of create some, you know, realistic terrain. Uh, we've done this plenty before, but I just wanted to have a little bit of, you know, just a, some basic features to it. Um, and then what we're going to do now is we are going to go into under our splines and highlight Bezier. And we're going to go into our top view. And what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to just kind of do a cross section where I'm going to draw a squiggly line and let's let's call it for this purpose a road um, it could be a trail but we're just going to kind of car, cut across this terrain in no particular order and when we return back to our viewport 3d viewport we'll notice that it you know it's kind of cut through as we'd expect sort of haphazardly through our scene here or through our plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it up just enough so that all of the features of my spline are above of the plane. And then now if I go back into the top view, I've got this this looking view here. And now we're going to go to mesh, spline and project. So what we're going to try to do now is we are going to take the spline and we are going to stick it on the surface of the um, on the surface of the plane. So under project, we're just going to go to tool. Then we have these uh, three options here. Obviously, we're going to we've done nothing yet, so we're going to apply our projection. And you notice that a couple things changed, but if we go back to our perspective view, we notice that it did in fact do what we wanted. Um, however it did it in a very linear fashion so we're not done yet um, so the next thing we need to do is add more points because we only had you know a half dozen points across the across the plane for the spline so that's where the second tool comes in we're gonna go to spline and round okay and in our options we are just gonna add let's go with 60 points and we're going to apply and now we'll notice what we've done here is we've created a much more realistic looking curvy line but it still hasn't quite um, you know done what we wanted um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just project this again so I'm gonna do it an apply and now we are really starting to look good um, because we had to reapply that transform. But you notice that these points at the end here, they they don't they don't have anything to stick to because they're off the plane edge. So what we need to do is basically just select these and get rid of them. Boom. And now we've got a spline or let's call it a row that is actually stuck to our terrain here okay so let's uh, let's take this to the next level here um, obviously just having a single line isn't going to do you any good um, so what we need to do is to create a sweep and then for a road we're going to use the rectangle and what we're going to do is we're going to drop both of these objects in and oh boy rectangles too big 
But as we size down the rectangle, we start to get what looks like a road. And I'm going to make the road, the rectangle editable so that I can size the top down. And boom, voila. Now I've actually got what I want here is this road. Now you do have some options under sweep. Um, you can. Um, turn on parallel movement but you probably don't want that it's going to change the size of it as it curves so we want to keep that checked off um, banking is going to create just a little bank as it curves so that does simulate you'll notice here how it's kind of curved inward there if you don't want that you can turn it off and now it'll just be a flat surface which I think that actually does look better in this uh, in this case um, so now we've got, you know, now we've got a road very quickly cut across our terrain. And the only thing left to do is to create some materials to show you the difference between the two. So um, for our road, let's, let's go in here. Well, actually, let's go in and let's do a, uh, a noise to kind of simulate gravel. And we'll go, we're going to turn our global scale way down and just kind of create some sort of form of different uh, different grays and we're going to turn our reflectance sorry our, our default specular a little bit down as, as a road isn't a, a really reflective object and boom we're going to drop it on now we notice once we do that that we actually do have some some issues here um, just as it curves around this mountainside so now I'm going to go back and see if this banking fix that or make it worse. It actually makes it worse. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take our rectangle and we'll kind of mess with it until we get, yeah, there we go. So just by making it a little bit taller, now we've got, we're back to what we want. Um, so yeah, so that's that's what we got here and then let's let's create one more material um, in the true low poly form we'll go back into noise and we're gonna use a couple different forms of green one dark and one a bit lighter and we're gonna turn our scale down as well and we're also gonna change the, the amount of specular to match grass and let's just add a light to see kind of what we're looking at here. Going to make sure my shadows are soft. And here's our sample little terrain. Nothing beautiful about it. We haven't added a lot of a lot of things, and there's nothing really for the shadows to interact with. So it just kind of looks flat and basic. But there is a way to, um, you know. Uh, sorry, this is a good foundation for starting your scene. You've got a road, you've got the spline still here, and you know, let's say we if we wanted to have an animation um, going, let's pretend like this um, cube is a is a car. All right, and we're gonna add the tag, a line to spline. And we're gonna use the the spline path for the road. You know, now we can use the align to spline to basically create a driving car, something that we can animate. Um, so we would go keyframe here, and let's go to the 90th frame, and let's go up to 100, and let's keyframe there. So now we've got a driving car, something that's going to cut across our terrain. And you know, while we're while we're watching this animation play out, you know, maybe we're getting like a high view of a city so we, we fill in a city scene here or a forest and we've got you know tons of cars driving on this aligned spline you know, we could clone this car and have multiple cars driving here um, so anyway this just kind of introduces the topic uh, of using the project and round to create roads in your terrain um, as well as um, just how to get started on, on, on creating a basic terrain with with roads in them. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the 
comments and uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it.